Hello, welcome to Essential Contact for 7th of July 2020. And we're thinking this week in our devotionals on Ephesians 5 verse 20. And this is part of the verse that we, the reading that we had on Sunday. Ephesians 5 verse 20. Do not be drunk on wine, which leads to debauchery, but be filled with the Spirit. Go on being filled with the Spirit. The Spirit of God, he gives us a new status to children of God like Christ and a new power growing us in Christ likeness. And then under that umbrella in chapter 5, verse 20, be filled with the Spirit, there are sort of four things, four descriptions of the life of a Spirit-filled believer. First of all, speaking to one another with psalms, hymns and spiritual songs. And we thought yesterday about how we're supposed to be like elephants uh, going through dry land on their way to the Okavanga Delta, trumpeting to one another to keep each other going. We, in the same way, are on our way to the eternal city, uh, where there'll be no more death or mourning or crying or pain, and we'll be with our Lord and his people forever. And we encourage one another on the way. Speaking. Secondly, it's singing. Singing and making music in your heart to the Lord. Then it's always giving thanks and submitting to one another. The second one today, singing and making music in your heart to the Lord. That is is one of the most powerful ways to nurture your relationship with Jesus, to drink deeply from his living water. As you connect the truth of the Bible with your heart and emotions, singing and making music in your heart to the Lord, whatever it is, whatever situation is getting to you, uh, whatever's the loudest voice in your heart, well, you can dispel that with singing to Jesus. We think of... Paul and Silas in prison, in lockdown, and they sang hymns together, having just been beaten. We sing and make music in our hearts to the Lord. Here's a lovely book. Sing. Uh, I think this is a gift from Linda Donna. Thank you, Linda. Um, it's by Keith and Christian Getty, the uh, authors of In Christ Alone and other such wonderful hymns. And it pff, waxes lyrical about all the wonderful the reasons why we sing and how we can't help but sing if we're believers, because we've been saved. We have such a great salvation and we have such reason to sing. We lament in our songs sometimes as we think of the difficulties of this fallen world. We sing with joy because of the salvation that's been won for us and what lies ahead. We sing love songs to the one who loved us and gave his life for us. We sing battle songs as we uh, seek to make disciples of all nations um, and it's so powerful singing is so powerful and i encourage you to sing and make music in your heart to the lord as you nurture your relationship with him and drink deeply from his wellspring of salvation i've got a spotify account and i really enjoy uh, songs today i was singing uh, along with uh, lou fellingham uh, the resurrection this changes everything was the song you may have a bank of songs from growing up in church or from your recently in church. Um, you can go onto YouTube. Maybe there's songs in the car. We sing a lot of sing the Bible with slugs and bugs. Sing and make music in your heart to the Lord. Enjoy him today and nurture your relationship with him.